You can't tell me I'm on the roof. Oh, it's beautiful. A chorus of angels should sing out every time it's turned on. Today on Dead Dodge Garage, it's the Mopar or No Cart. The recipe is pretty simple. You take one of them generic Chevy run stands and you kind of change it and add a B-body K-frame and a radiator. Those were originally the front mounts for the Chevy biscuit mounty thingies. I flipped them onto the back, got rid of the cross member they did slide on. Uh, well, I screwed a radiator up there. I used the pieces that originally mounted that cross member and sections of it to make these standoffs. I shortened those to six inches or so and just kind of eyeballed all this using a crappy old block. Because it's a B-body BAK frame, it can mount a big block or a small block very easily. Fun fact, uh, the engines don't sit centered in the cars, but you might have already known that. This worked out so well, it almost looks like I knew what I was doing. And the welds kind of say otherwise, but that's fine. I even painted it kind of okay. Next job, bigger casters, because the dang picker doesn't fit under it. That kind of complicates things. And then wiring and gauges. I have questions. If you've got a welder and a grinder and some spray paint, you can build one of these yourself. It did take me two days, but you know, I'm not much of a fabric cobbler really. And it might be crooked, but that's okay. As soon as the stand's ready, we're gonna test it. With this, it goes to this car. Yes, there's a car in there somewhere. <laughs> Look at all this progress. It's wired, it's got a dash again. Everything's all labeled. I must say, I really outdid myself here. And here's our first test subject. 440 for um, this thing. It's actually dug out of the hole and everything now. Pretty cool. Look at this beauty. I hate it when a plan comes together. Mm -hmm. Success! Here's the electrical setup. Electronic pickup connector, coil positive and negative, and field wires. Labeled even. Wow! Oh, this is points compatible too. You just eliminate that wire and this. Oil gauge. Starter stuff. The positive cable goes to the car, the other one's staying. So much science going on here. Look how dangerously close this thing is. It's got all the things it needs except water and gas. Yes. Oh, don't mind that. We learned the uh, paint's not gas proof. Okay, we're ready to set the grass on fire. Hit it. Yeah. Like Hit it. Oh, needs more. That's needs more. Oh, that's a lot.
What's a little leak in oil among friends? Thing. I guess we learned not to do it again. And we learned that copper tubing is your friend. This is a weird failure. Can't even really see it. Just started spewing oil. Gross. Don't worry about any of that. That's fine. There you go. If you want to build your own Mopar run stand, all you need is a Chevy run stand, a radiator, a K-frame, and a welder. And some bits of wire. Thanks for watching. And remember, Lint is a Shell's best friend. It's not just good, it's good enough. <laughs>